Welcome back. Today we are making Kara's corn dip. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drain two cans of Mexicorn. If you can't find Mexicorn, you can use regular corn. So you're going to use three cans of regular corn and a quarter of a cup of diced green and red bell pepper. I'm also going to drain one can of regular corn. I want to make sure this is strained really well. I don't want any excess liquid. I'm going to pour that in a large mixing bowl. And then I'm going to thinly slice up six green onions, which I've already washed, and I'm going to cut the ends off. And once I've got that done, I'm going to slice these very thinly. I want the flavor. I don't want chunks of onion, though. And I'm going to make sure I use the white and the green. Not only does it add to the flavor, it makes it pretty, and we always eat with our eyes. So once I've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and add that to my bowl. And I'm going to use this handy-dandy flexible mat that my husband got me several years ago from Amazon. I love this thing. I have, uh, I believe, four of them. I generally use the same two. I'm going to give that a quick stir. And to that, I'm going to add two cups of shredded cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you'd like. I'm using mozzarella and sharp cheddar because I had this in the fridge and I really needed to get it used. This is also really good with pepper jack. I'm just going to stir that well and then I'm going to pour it in a Tupperware container because I'm going to refrigerate this for about four to six hours before I serve it. So I'm just going to scrub that out and I'm just going to give it a quick stir to make sure everything's mixed well. Using the same bowl, I'm going to add one cup of mayonnaise. You can use regular mayonnaise or reduced fat. Just don't use the fat free. And once I've got that done, I'm going to add that to my bowl. And then I'm going to go ahead and add one cup of sour cream. Again, you can use regular or the reduced fat. I just would not use the fat free. Add that to the bowl as well. And then I'm going to give it a real quick stir. I just want to mix the mayonnaise and sour cream well. Once I've got that done, I'm going to pour this out onto my corn mixture. I'm gonna scrape that out. Once I've got that done, I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. I just wanna make sure everything is mixed well. I wanna make sure all the corn is coated. Once I have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and add a lid to it and I'm going to refrigerate this prior to serving. And once I've got that done, I'm going to pour it in a bowl and serve it with Fritos. I like the big scoops, or you can use tortilla chips. And that's all there is to it. It's quick, it's easy, and it's most delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more from me in the future. Hit that subscribe button down below. I'm trying to post three videos a week, two cooking and baking videos, along with one randomness. This is definitely one of my very favorite dips. Um, this recipe I got from my friend Kara. She's been making it for years, and I was doing a get-together, and I wanted something quick and easy that would uh, make a lot for a little money, and this definitely is a recipe that will do that. I personally like to eat it with the Frito Scoops, but you can eat it with tortilla chips or any kind of cracker or chip you'd like. It's super easy, it comes together in a few minutes, and it's definitely a crowd pleaser. I hope you guys have a great day, and remember not every day is good, but there's always something good in every day, and I will see you next time.